All right, everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back to another movie reaction. Today, we are going to be watching 2015's Krampus, which is by the same creators of Trick or Treat, one of my favorite horror movies to watch on Halloween ever. And may I say, guys, we're watching this because today, by the time you guys are watching this, it is actually Christmas. So I want to say a very Merry Christmas to all of you out there and a Happy New Year. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas with all your families and all your friends and everything, having plenty of gatherings and everything, being able to to just celebrate the best way possible on this day. But because it's Christmas, I have to celebrate this the best way I know how because I'm personally not the type of person who enjoys Christmas for personal reasons and everything, but what better way to celebrate Christmas than not watching Home Alone or The Polar Express or Die Hard this year? Today we are going to be watching a Christmas horror movie known as Krampus. I've never seen this movie, I've always wanted to, but I've never gotten around to it which is weird considering I love Trick or Treat and it's the same filmmakers, but this is enough time wasted. I'm here to watch Krampus with you guys. Let's jump in and let's watch Krampus. Toys in every store Everywhere you go I'm gonna have to cut out this music. There's way too much copyrighted music in this right now. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas but the prettiest sight to see if this is really what fucking Black Friday is like in America I want none of it this looks like an absolute fucking nightmare screw this yeah but Victor Klitschke is always ragging on Christmas he even told the first graders that Santa was just a cheap marketing ploy and then did to sell Pepsi coke you know what I mean sorry to all the little kids out there who are watching this video but that's not entirely inaccurate. It is kind of a marketing ploy for people to go stupid and buy gifts for their kids and everything on Christmas and everything. Okay, yeah, I'm a bit of a fucking grin. Shoot me. All I had to eat was Christmas fudge and candy canes. Well, I hate to sound harsh, but every kid has to learn the truth someday. Hey, it's Tony Collette! Is your son or daughter gonna get hit by a fucking pole this movie and get decapitated? <laughs> this is gonna be fun! You know what? After what you pulled, you can do that alone. And quick, your cousins get here any minute. Yeah, right. Oh, fuck cousins, man. Fuck cousins. No! Cousins at Christmas are the worst. I just want to sit at home watching movies and playing video games. Last year, I found shit in my bed, Mom. Human shit. For the last time, that was their dog. There are why some people shouldn't be allowed to breed. Your words, Mom, not mine. I never said that. This is why I, I should never have kids, but I want fucking kids. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's movies like this that show me I shouldn't have kids, but I want kids. Help. It takes a lot of work to make our family look more awesome than it actually is, you know? I like snowflakes, but I like my plan a lot better. <laughs> now that is one killer fucking bong. Jack Frost or Frosty the Snowman, whatever his fucking name is, has been getting on the good kush, apparently. Merry Christmas! Hey, sis, Merry Christmas. Dreidel, dreidel, tonight's gonna be fucking fatal. Wow. Come on, let me move it, move it. We don't have to keep the traffic jam going now. Let me help you. Oh, no, get Holy fuck, you look like a redneck. You look like you'd have some great tips and tricks on how to circumcise your brother by kicking his sister in the fucking jaw. So, would you ask Santa for this year? Really nice. Is that the same tubby kid from Trick or Treat who got fucking murdered by the dad and the son or whatever the fuck it was? I think that's the same tubby kid who got killed. God, I hope he fucking dies here. You guys. What do you like this stuff, Tom? You see anywhere? He's even got Pringles in his backpack, the twat. Weak effort, kid. Hang on. That's my boy! Well, I just thought you guys might like a break from macaroni and cheese with hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, you were wrong. And who doesn't make a ham at Christmas? What are you now? A Jew? Oh, fuck it, dreidel, dreidel, go fuck yourself in the fucking fatal- Oh, God. I'm gonna fucking put a buckshot in your head soon. I mean, I like Christmas, but at least I'm fucking appreciative of my family and the effort that they go to make Christmas special. Heard it on the news. Slay crashed in the Rockies. Shattered both his legs. So to survive, he had to slaughter 
and eat his reindeer. Right off the red nose reindeer had a very bloody throat. So what kind of godforsaken concoction are you whipping up now? One that'll hopefully put you on your ass and you won't wake up until the fucking kingdom comes. Most people. We know you still believe in the big fat creeper. Yeah, he's sitting at the end of the fucking table, apparently. Fat tubby kid from fucking Trick or Treat, you cunt. You might have noticed that I don't have tons of friends. Oh no, really, Max? What a cunt! Oh my god, just shut up! Why would you- Oh! I hate kids like this. Again, remind me to never have fucking kids. Look at that. Screw you, Dad does not wish we were boys. <laughs> he definitely does. He definitely does, first of all. And secondly, at least he's helping you guys out, or at least keeping you in his wishes to Santa. I just wanted Christmas to be like it used to be, but forget it. I hate Christmas! I hate all of you! I'm with you, kid. I am fucking with you. No! Don't rip it up! Put it in the mailbox! What are you doing? Santa needs that! Okay, that was a little bit hokey dokey. That was a bit weird. Why did it just go whoo? I would just be calmer if I knew how we were going to survive Christmas with 12 people stuck in a house with no hot water, no heat, and no electricity. Yeah, I think, you know, Birdo or that little tubby kid is going to really stink up your bathroom with no heat or anything or any electricity. That's just going to waft through the house. Merry Christmas! Is that you? Yeah! Some weather, huh? Yeah, it's a ghost town out there. Who the fuck is this? Wait, why is she signing? She shouldn't be signing. She's not the one at the house. She's not the owner. She, she's not the tenant. Why the fuck is she signing? I've texted Derek like nine times and he still hasn't written back. Can I walk over and check on him? It's only a few blocks. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a no from me too. You can stay at Should home and stay safe. No, dad, fuck off. Don't be dumb. Don't be fucking dumb. Aww. She's making hot chocolate for everyone. That's so sweet. <gasps> After this, I'm going to make myself a hot chocolate. <gasps> I need a hot chocolate even though it's the middle of summer. Oh! Oh, there's a little motherfucker on the roof of that house. He's not very nice. I don't think he looks very nice. He looks very scary. Oh my God. Whoa! Santa Claus has fucking superpowers! Oh my God! That's actually fucking dope. I love that. And it's right to the point too. That's great. <laughs> you got frozen to death, you little fuck. Suck a dick. <laughs> fuck off. Stop. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> well, I think it got her. It's either that or someone's getting very excited in the back of that van. They're just going to town. It's getting late. Should be home by now. She's fine. She's at Derek's. <laughs> fucking doubt that. I highly doubt she's at Derek's. I think she is very fucking dead, my good sir. Yes, too. You're my only lover this Christmas. I love no one more, and you love no one more either. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Patrick. Jesus Christ. Hey, Howard. Do you think your Hummer could get through this mess? I could point her due east, hit the gas, and she'd be storming the beaches at Normandy by sunrise. Not what we fucking asked you, redneck prick. Just give us a straightforward fucking answer. Alright, slow down. What is that? Uh, I'd turn around and come back 
That... That's not inconspicuous at all. Just a random fucking snow plow in the middle of the fucking snow blizzard with the lights on. Mm, that's a big no from me, sir. Yeah, that's the moment where I get the fuck out of there. That's a big no thanks for me, sir. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later. I'm going back with my family. You pack guns on Christmas. Always be prepared, Boy Scout. Fuck off, you and your redneck fucking ways, you just... Fuck guns, dude. Thank God we have gun control here in Oz. Probably just squirrels. In this weather. I was about to fucking say, that is no bloody squirrel. Also, the footsteps are too heavy for them to be little fucking pitter patter little skitter scatterers. My god, if that's a fucking squirrel, that's one big squirrel! Squirrels. Right. Probably playing with their nuts. Well, if you hear your daughter in the fucking distance in a blizzard like that, I highly doubt you are finding her. Sure, you can try, but you are not going to. Also, I don't think that is her. I think that's definitely Krampus fucking manipulating them. Uh... Oh, the redneck's about to go. Oh! This is some Evil Dead type shit! Oh, please let the redneck go, just... Let him... Uh, let him go, let him die, let him fuck off out of this movie. Tommy? Whoa! Did he... Did he really just kill me? No fucking way. No, he shot the fucking thing that was trying to grab him! Oh, what a good fucking bloke! Honey, I'll be right back. I promise. Just lock the door. Oh, ah! I was just checking me fucking phone and I heard the fucking door slam open. What the hell? That's just a scratch. Oh my god, it looks like something bit you. Nope. Probably a bear trap under the snow. So... Oh yeah, that would make fucking sense. Nah, I'd honestly take it the fact that a fucking great white shark came out of the fucking snow and beat your leg off. That is not a bear trap. Shut up. Come on guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make peppermint schnapps. What a great fucking aunt, just teaching them how to make peppermint schnapps. What a great role model. <laughs> Tom, God! Sorry, sorry. Oh. And, um... Beth? Okay. She wasn't at Derek's, but that doesn't mean anything. She may have found somewhere safe. So she's still out there. Yes, and we will find her, I promise. Yeah, don't make promises you can't keep, buddy. That is the worst thing you could fucking do. Do not make promises you can't keep. Beth is gone. Although I understand where she's coming. He's coming from, like, oh god. I couldn't imagine that. That would fucking suck. We can all pile in the truck and we'll just see as far as we can get in. And, and, and the truck's gone. Up, Beth? Torn to pieces. It just went kaboom, just fucking gone. How much of that did you hear? <sighs> Enough. Did someone take Beth? Are they coming for us? No. Lies. You are a big fat fucking liar. They heard the entire thing. You weren't particularly inconspicuous. Wait. I just want to say I'm sorry for thinking you're such a spineless dick all these years. These attempts at character development are nice and all, but they're really not going anywhere, unfortunately. Like, I understand the attempt, and I, you know, I actually, like, commend the attempt. Like, it's good that they're trying to give character development, but when it comes to a movie like this, I think it's in their best interest not to try and humanize the characters and to sort of have us want them to die and get taken by Krampus and everything, except for maybe the kid, the main kid. I don't know. The, the character development between the family is just a little bit ick to me. It's... Halfway through the movie now, it seems like it's a little... It's a bit too little, too late and everything kind of being pushed forward and it just isn't entirely working, unfortunately. I appreciate and commend the attempt, as I said, but it doesn't entirely work, unfortunately. You know, Linda and I, we butt heads, but I can't imagine a life without her. Yeah, I know what you mean. Again, like, I appreciate it and I commend it and I think it's good that... They're humanizing the characters, but it just, it's not working for the movie and it's objective in regards to like Krampus going after them and everything. It's just, it makes it feel more shallow than it would without the character development. They're in the walls! Shoot him! Oh, it's fine. They're just looking for a hookup. 
Any volunteers? <laughs> Is that a fucking gingerbread man pulling a full on Mission Impossible? Of course, the fucking tubby kid's the one who smells the gingerbread man. In the meantime, he's just chilling in the background going, Oh, that's about to piss it off. Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> hey, he's perfectly gift wrapped to be eaten for fucking Christmas. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> that sound effect! That was way really funnier than it should have been! This is a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon! <laughs> Okay, that's tragic and all, and I'm sorry that your son's been taken, but my biggest question is, how the fuck did he fit in that chimney? How? This is our all fault. We want to take us all. This is all of our fault? He's come for us all? This has happened to her before, hasn't it? She knows about Krampus. English. I knew it. I was about to say, you could speak English? Why haven't you been speaking English the entire time? What a cold winter night. Oh. Much like this. That error. It was all. Oh, it's too early in the morning. That animation though was beautiful. Holy crap. They too had given up, and eventually, so did I. And for the first time, I didn't wish for a miracle. I wished for them to go away. Oh, that's so tragic. That's actually so sad and depressing. Oh, I'll never take Christmas for granted anymore after watching this. What the fuck? I knew St. Nicholas was not coming this year. But Krampus is coming and he's putting coal in your stocking and taking your family. Dreidel, dreidel, tonight's gonna be fatal. He and his helpers. Whoa! That is... Fucking amazing. That shadow was kind of terrifying though. Please go away. <laughs> he left me as a reminder of what happens when hope is lost. Wait, so is Krampus really a bad guy? Because he will take the family but will leave one to remind them of what happens when all hope is lost? Holy fuck, that's actually so tragic. You believe this senile horse shit? Uh. Oh, shut the fuck up, you cunt. I hope you're next to die. Fuck off. What are we gonna do now? We keep the fire hot. It's kind of name on this. <laughs> What's she saying? She says we're fucked. Oh, fucking brilliant. Way to put it fucking lightly. No, it's another fucking jack in the box. No. No, 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 no. Put it down. 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 That's another fucking jack in the box. Put it the fuck down. If you hear a fucking jack in the box like that, you put it down. Especially in a situation like this. Don't be bloody dumb. Don't be bloody dumb. No. Go. Put it down. 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 And go where? The mall doubles as an emergency shelter. And if it's empty, we'll try the police station. That's actually a very good plan. Go somewhere where there's an emergency shelter to try and find people, and if not, go to the police station. It's nice to have fucking smart characters in a movie like this. Where have you been? That is definitely not fucking... What was her name again? Beth. You guys are dumb as fuck. Like, you know she's missing. How would she have gotten into there's the screen? I was gonna say... How would she have gotten into the house? How dumb can you be? I need to see the redneck shoot a gingerbread man running around with his fucking shotgun. That would make my day. That would be some evil dead type shit right there. Like, aren't we of darkness? I need it in my life. You guys. Oh. Oh, whatever was in those boxes came to bloody life and took them, didn't they? Oh, something came to fucking life and took them. That's... Oh, that's not good. That's... I heard a fucking noise. Fuck you, baby. 
Fuck you, movie. You and your jump scares. What the fuck is that? No, wait. What? Uh, what? What? Mm, no. Oh, come on. Oh! Hey! My god! What in the living fuck? How about you get back in your cold box? Holy shit! We should have gone to my brothers. <laughs> oh my god! Take cover, take cover, soldier! Take cover, right, you six! Turn down, go, go! Number one, animatronics work is in. Oh! Woo! Okay, I was gonna say, the animatronics work is incredible, by the way. The practical effects are insanely good. Second of all, you are ugly as shit, and I hope you fucking die. <laughs> the redneck tried to shoot and blew up some fucking gingerbread men. My life is complete. <laughs> yes! Woo! What happened? <laughs> Good doggy! Good boy! Whoa! I take back everything I said, an icicle is a good fucking weapon. Oh, she's doing her little hero thing to try and save her kids, and she's gonna get taken in the process, isn't she? Uh -oh. No, don't follow! Don't follow, don't follow, don't be stupid, don't be fucking stupid. What happened up there? They got Jordan. Who? The monsters up above in the attic. They took Jordan, and now they're pissed. We gotta get in there, we gotta get in there and get her out. Linda, what are we dealing with? What'd you see up there? You don't wanna know, sweetheart. Honey, I just got my ass kicked by a bunch of Christmas cookies, so trust me when I say I can take it. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to fucking put it. Good on you, mate, for, you know, standing up to the table, finally. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! You are disgusting! <laughs> ah! Big flying bitch! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh my god, it's the entire fucking army. Oh my god, how many are there? Is this the entire Urukai army at Helm's Deep? The sound effect was fucking perfect. I don't even care that old mate just went fucking flying with the little slug type jack in the box thing. That was too great. What is going on? Is there oh. what's going on? Mom, come on, come on, we're leaving. <laughs> Mom, we have to go now. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. That fucking bang. That was fucking Krampus, and you are completely screwed. He could. Wait, what? What? They do realize they could just go through the fucking window that has now been shattered open? The window. Oh. There we go. There we go. Cool. Alright, they pointed it out. That's a really neat visual, and I bl that looks practical too. That looks great. Holy shit. Whoa. This is how you do a reveal, people. This is amazing. This is so cool. Ew, put that fucking tongue away. Jesus Christ, just, no. Whoa! 
Wait, did Omi just get taken? No! Even though she rarely spoke English, even though she could, I really liked her. She's like the best character in the entire movie. Especially after her little story and speech. Oh man, that fucking sucks. Sorry, what was that? The sound design and the music is too loud. I can't hear your voice. Uh, sir. Sir. You'd be out of shell. You'd be- You'd be out of fucking shells. There we go. Now he's out of bloody shell- Shell. As I say it every fucking time. And there he goes. It was nice knowing you, Dad, but... Sadly, you're not a main character, so you can't stay in this movie for too long. Mom, no! Mom, I love you. Mom! Not Tony Collette, no! Can Tony Collette in a horror movie just get a fucking break for once? Like, Jesus Christ. She never gets a break. <laughs> oh. Wait, is nobody gonna live? Are they all gonna get taken? Wait, what the shit? There's just this big cult fucking circle with a- Whatever the hell is going on, I guess? What on earth? Okay. I'm a little confused by all this now. Wow, kid, you've got balls that call the shadow of Father Christmas. An asshole. Wow, kid, I commend you. In other words, oh, I'd be running the opposite direction right now. What the flying fuck is happening now? Wait, why is the earth falling apart around- Wait, what? Is this the depths of hell? What is going on? Take me instead. Is he actually gonna do it? Is he... Wait, hang on. Is he actually gonna give the kid back his family and take it? What? <laughs> the kid's just been lifted up by the fucking head. Oh my god! He actually dropped the kid! Did no one live? <laughs> well, you're a fucking twat, aren't ya? I swear to god, if this movie's all entire thing is that it was all a fucking dream? I am going to lose my shit. I hate it when movies do that. It... No. If it does that, no. No. It better fucking not. Wait, why is the whole family- what? About time you got up, we've been waiting forever. Be Beth, the entire fucking family, they're all nice and happy and cheery, what? This isn't the family I know! I Wait. But he's still got the bell. He's still got the bell. That means. What? He's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming. Wait, what? What? So they don't die, they just get caught in a knowing like little snow. What? <laughs> Fuck you and your cheap jump scare, it won't get me. Wait, 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 wait. So that means the entire time the family was captured by Krampus, and now they're stored in like this little snow globe where they can all be a big happy family. But in the process, they can never leave that because that was the kid's wish, and. Oh my god. Alright, I. I'll give it credit. I didn't see that coming. Well, that was Krampus. And I've got to say, I actually had a pretty good fucking time. 
I really enjoyed that for the most part. It is very slow and does feel way too long. It gets to the point very fast, but with no setup, meaning everything that happens throughout feels overly drawn out. It's only 90 minutes long and it does feel at least two hours, but that's because of the lack of setup. It's very unevenly paced for that reason and fucking stretched out. But at the same time, great practical effects, Unlikable characters with great performances. I think the direction and the art style and visual aesthetic of the movie is phenomenal. I think there's a lot of great tension and horror aspects provided to it as well, while having a good, very campy, almost sadistic uh, take on Christmas in regards to how the tone is utilized for the Christmas sort of period. I had a good time. Krampus was a lot of fun. If you guys haven't seen it in its entirety, please go check it out. I think it's worth a watch. If I was the graded, I'd probably give it like a B or something. It was a good time. It's not disappointing. I was very worried going into it and I'd been putting it off for years for a reason. No, I, I really enjoyed that. I don't know. Guys, have you seen Krampus? I want to see what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Or are you somewhere right in the middle? Please comment down below. Let me know. I just started my fucking words, but fuck you. I really had a good time with this movie, though. Please leave a like down below and a comment to let me know what you thought. Make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new videos are up every single week. Follow me on the social medias as well at Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell, as I said, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.